Well, hello to you. I must say I never tire of coming to this particular football stadium, Elland Road, and it's a clear night for football. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Leeds United facing Manchester City. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And providing the main goal scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. And so the match is underway. Well, there's always a pretty good chance Rodrigo will bring his considerable influence to bear on the proceedings. Stuart, what might we see from him in this case? Well, four goals in his last three appearances says it all, doesn't it, Derek? He's been absolutely outstanding. He's taken the chances to come his way, and he looks a real threat every time he gets the ball. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Holland, And that pass could be troublesome. And there it is! The opening goal! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then the perfect finish from Foden. Great technique. There's no stopping that. And so the game back in business. Sitting ahead here. He's in behind, tries to lift it, well, 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 how many players would have the confidence to try that? Simply magnificent. Well, here's the replay, watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And just look at the finish, that's a brilliant piece of skill and vision to chip the goalkeeper from there. What a great goal. So back underway following the equaliser. Rodrigo. Chance to play it in. Could be. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So, back in action. Will there be a quick response from City? There needs to be. Nicely timed tackle.
He's very adept at protecting the ball on the offensive. Delivered into the area here. Well, the pass not finding its target. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. And teammates to play it to. And the goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Christensen. Now a decent position, and the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. Let's see about the delivery. And clearing it away. Mark Rocca. Not the pass he had in mind. And he didn't hesitate. Good thing too. Well, he's so quick off his line. That's great goalkeeping, you have to say. Joao Cancelo. Grealish. A chance to eat into their lead. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. And there it is, the half-time whistle, thus bringing to an end the first half here at Ellendrum. So the second half underway, and City left with a real mountain to climb. Brendan Aronson, that's a good-looking ball in behind. Oh, and a perfect ball now, how about this? Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Foden. De Bruyne now. Will it be? A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. So, back in action. City still behind, but this game very much a contest. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Joao Cancelo. Rodrigo. And it's a penalty. The referee points to the spot, and it's going from bad to worse. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. To extend their lead here. And confidently converted. Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. So the current scoreline, 4-2. 
Really getting stuck in. And he's through here. And it's there for him. What a lovely strike. Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, how about this? 4-3. Well, Darren Bentley, please meet your wife Harrison. Well, possibilities in the centre. Using his strength to hold on to the ball and wait for teammates to arrive. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. De Bruyne. Phil Foden. And they find a gap in the defence. Must score! Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Well, that looked like being the equaliser for City. But they've just been thwarted by a brilliant save. Mind you, you do sense a goal is coming. Yes, they just have to make sure they stay defensively compact here. Just ten minutes remaining here. Read it superbly to take back possession. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. This could finish it! And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response. Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Walker. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. Mark Rocca. And there's the final whistle, the big headline defeat for City. What did you make of this? Yes, Derek, they were well off their usual standards today. And with the quality that they have in their squad, I think it's fair for the fans to demand more. Too many bystanders for me, just not good enough. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he took his penalty with great confidence, and I thought his general play was really good. He was.